in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stop your feet to the beat. Lift your hands to the sky. Stop us, Kidonio! There's a God above who loves us, Kidonio! Nothing's gonna stop us at Kidonio. We know that Jesus loves us. Hi, kiddos! I'm Kristen, and I am so excited that you're here with me today. We're in a series called Made New. I love the springtime because we get to see flowers bloom and leaves start to appear on the trees. Things in nature change and are made new. Today, we're going to hear about some kids in the Bible and how things changed when they met Jesus. The first thing we're going to do is practice our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is... I am important to Jesus. Let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. I am important to Jesus. Great job. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea all together in our race car driver voices. Ready? Vroom, vroom, vroom. The big idea. Vroom, 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 vroom. I am important to Jesus. Vroom, 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 vroom. Great job. Turn around. And now let's say the big idea in our underwater voices. Ready? Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And now let's say the big idea while we're running. Ready? The big idea. I am important to Jesus. Awesome job practicing the big idea. You can sit down. Well, during our time together, we get to take a look at some pictures from nature and watch as they change. Let's take a look at our first one. This tree looks pretty bare. Let's see how it changes during our time together. Well, next, we get to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, way, oh, oh, way, oh. Here we go. <laughs> to go on our Bible adventure, I need to take this book along with me. Do you know what it is? Yes, the Bible. The Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God, and there are lots of true stories about when Jesus lived on the earth, too. Today, we get to read a story about a time when Jesus met some kids, just like you. Let's listen. While Jesus was on earth, he was doing a lot of important things. He was teaching people all about God and showing them how much he loved them. Jesus was also doing miracles, like healing people who were sick or hurt, walking on water, and feeding 5,000 people with a boy's lunch. One day, some parents decided to bring their children to see Jesus so he could bless them. When the disciples saw this, they tried to stop the parents. They said, stop bothering Jesus. He's busy doing important things and he should be spending time with important people. He doesn't have time to see your kids. 
When Jesus saw what was happening, he became angry with his disciples. Jesus said to them, Let the children come over to me. Don't try to stop them. In fact, you should become more like these children if you want to be part of the kingdom of God. Children are humble and trusting and full of faith. Then Jesus took the children in his arms and put his hand on their heads to bless them. Jesus would often stop to talk to people that others didn't think were very important. He spent time with people who had done wrong things, people who were hurt or sick, and people who were poor. Jesus showed every person that they were valuable and important to him, no matter what other people thought. Great listening, kiddos! It's so amazing to know each one of us is important to Jesus. Now, let's take a look at our second nature picture. It looks like this tree has some leaves now. We'll have to keep going to see what happens. Well, now we get to learn a memory verse about what happens in our lives when we follow Jesus. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Hey, hey! Our memory verse comes from the Bible. This one is about how our life changes and is made new when we follow Jesus. It goes like this. 2 Corinthians 5.17 When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. When we decide to follow Jesus, one way we're made new is we begin to see ourselves the way Jesus sees us. Jesus thinks you are valuable and important, no matter what. Now let's stand up and practice the memory verse together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? 2 Corinthians 5.17 when anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. Great job. Turn around. And now let's say the memory verse in our super quiet whisper voice. Ready? Take out your Bibles. 2 Corinthians 5.17 When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. Great job! Turn around. Now let's shout out this memory verse. Can you say it in your super loud voices? Take out your Bibles. 2 Corinthians 5.17 When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. Awesome job, kiddos. That was so loud. Now let's see what our third nature picture looks like. Wow, the leaves are really becoming green. I wonder how it will keep changing. Well, now it's time for us to sing a song together. This song is about the amazing thing Jesus did for each one of us. Let's sing and dance together. Jesus is alive. 
them saying, you can sit down because now it's time to try out what we've been learning. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right. We've been learning that Jesus thinks we're important today. And now it's time to try it out. Tweet has been dropping off mail for us each day. I wonder if there's something in the mailbox that will help us learn how important we are to Jesus. Oh, kiddos. This is my very favorite Lego creation. I worked really hard to make this. I had to follow all the directions really carefully and put each small piece in its spot. This is extra important to me because I'm the one who made it. Have you ever made something that was important to you? Maybe it was an art project, Legos, a bird feeder, or something else. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Yes, well let's see if there's something else in here. Oh, look at this, kiddos. This is a Christmas stocking that I made. I took all these different pieces of fabric. I cut them into different shapes and I sewed them together. I figured out where I wanted each piece to go. It was really hard work and it took me a long time because I wanted to get everything just right. This stocking is really important and special to me because I made it. You know, I think that's the way God sees us. Did you know that God made each one of you? And he made every person in the whole world. God made you just the way you are, with your likes and dislikes, with your skin color and eye color, and with different things you're really good at. Just like I took time to make this Lego creation and Christmas stocking, God took time and care to make you just the way you are. That's why you're so special and important to him. I love how Jesus showed us this in our Bible adventure today. Kids were not seen as very important during Bible times, which is why the disciples tried to keep them away from Jesus. But Jesus told the kids to come over to him and spend time with him. He showed everyone who is watching that kids are so valuable and important to him. Kiddos, you might have days where you feel too small or too young or not important. Here's what I want you to remember. God made you just the way you are and you are so special to him. God loves you so much. Well, we have one last picture from nature to look at. Let's see how our tree has changed. Wow, look how the leaves have changed into beautiful fall colors. That's amazing. Well, we're almost finished for today, but we have one more fun thing to do. Stand up and let's go Kidawampus together. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go, Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. Singing it's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go, Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. Singing Kid O Wampus. Kid O Wampus. What? Kid O Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. It's time for Musical Kiddos! When different instruments come up on the screen, pretend that you are playing them. But when Tweet the Bird flies by, be as quiet as you can. Ready? Here we go! Piano Let's hear your guitar! Saxophone. Let's 
Let's hear you play the drums. Trumpet. Bravo! That was so fun! You can sit down because we're going to talk to God together. We can always talk to God, no matter where we are or what we're doing. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. And if you want to, you can repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Help us to remember that we are important to you. Amen. Well, I've had so much fun with you today, kiddos. Right now, you can look below this video for an activity you can do with your family. And remember, God loves you so much and you are so important to him. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.